Happy Deep Dive Wednesday, y'all. We are in the deep end in Waco, Texas, home of the HGTV hit series, Fixer Upper. I'd love to take you out to the Fixer Upper silos, but the weather out there is absolutely awful. So I thought I'd sit by the fire, show you a few photos, and share with you what's on my heart. So in the weekly series, Fixer Upper, Chip and Joanna Gaines take on an old, rundown, often really ugly home and transform it into an absolutely magnificent work of beauty. And the beginning of that process is called Demo Day. That's the day when they go in and destroy, demolish just about everything in that home except for its good old bones. And it's from those bones then that they recreate something wonderful and new. Ever feel like you're having your own Demo Day in life? That's actually part of our Christian sanctification process. When we leave behind the life we lived in this world that brought glory to our name and we embrace the life that God calls us to live that brings glory and honor to his name. That often begins with a demo day. It's what happened with the flood when God demolished almost all of his creation leaving behind only Noah and Noah's family members and a few animals to start new, to bring something fresh and beautiful that would glorify and honor the Lord. The Apostle Paul talks about it this way in his letter to the Colossians. He says, therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. For it is because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. And in them you also once walked when you were living in them, but now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices and have put on the new self, who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. You know, Chip Gaines says that he loves the demo day process. It's his favorite thing about the whole process. He loves to get in there and just demolish things. I don't think that God really loves demo day in our lives. He knows that it causes us pain, but he also knows that he is going to bring beauty out of the ashes and the destruction of our lives. Can you trust him with that? Can you can submit to demo day knowing he's going to bring something better? This is how the prophet Hosea calls the Israelites to that. He says, come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us, but he will heal us. He has wounded us, but he will bandage us. Are you willing to submit to the Lord and to demo day, knowing that the best is yet to come, trusting his promise that the work that he began in you, he will perfect?